Patrick Dicolou, a fisherman, saw his first Newfoundland dogs many years ago when the fishing fleet returned to Brittany. This started his interest in the breed. Patrick and a few friends who also own Newfoundlands often take them to sea on fishing trips. These are times of great pleasure and enjoyment. They like being together and enjoy the happiness and trust of the Newfoundland dog. Patrick and his friends like to feel the dog's presence. The dogs aren't always there to work and often do as they please. Sometimes they look bored and just doze, but under this apparent nonchalance, they can instinctively smell danger. For hard-working fishermen, days at sea can often be tedious, but the dogs make good crew members. The coast of Brittany can be treacherous, complicated with fishing boat, pleasure craft, and cargo traffic. A sailor must be constantly alert. On board, life is shared between fishing, cleaning the deck, and maintaining the traps. Space is limited, and there is always the risk of injury. Sometimes the dogs get in the way, but it is still a pleasure to have them on board. Once, in extremely foul weather, Patrick nearly went overboard, but Ketch, his first Newfoundland dog, came to the rescue. It was a revelation and discovery of the innate life-saving quality of the breed. In serious situations, the Newfoundland seems to develop a quasi-sensorial instinct which, if the owner can interpret it, will avoid danger. In the face of danger, once past the avoidance mode, the dog somehow shifts into the rescue mode and will attempt assistance even at the risk of its own life. This is evident between rescue exercises and real incidents. Because of its reputation, the Newfoundland is a valued auxiliary in sea rescue teams. When Patrick and his co-workers go to sea, they usually perform rescue exercises. It's as much for the fishermen as it is for the dogs. It's a time to swim and play together and appreciate their great physical abilities.
The wind produces extremely violent seas off the coast of Brittany, and some days navigation is difficult. Fortunately, the coastline is well marked by many lighthouses. Many of these lighthouses are operated by the wives of fishermen, like Patrick's wife, Babette, who operates the lighthouse in Saint-Marin. The lighthouse is home to their Newfoundland dogs as well as Patrick and Babette. The first Newfoundland I ever owned, I met him at a lost dog's home. He was called Ketch. I couldn't resist, and I adopted him on the spot. Until his death, Ketch and I shared a very beautiful story. Life went on, and after Ketch, Patrick owned several Newfoundlands. Charles Henri. This superb male is the latest. Living in a lighthouse provides direct access to the sea. Without the long hours of driving, many people need to reach the seashore. Near water, the dogs are constantly playful. It takes time and devotion to properly exercise them at an early age. Patrick's dogs love the water, and if he's not watchful, they'll head straight for it. Inexplicably, the Newfoundland dog has a great empathy with humans, much like some dolphins. Togetherness and game playing strengthens the bonds between human and dog, an observation made by many fishermen like Patrick. For Patrick, time flies when he gets a chance to enjoy the dogs. The life of a fisherman is full of departures. And the fact that dogs like Charles Henri are with the family provides great comfort to Patrick when he's at sea. Patrick and Babette belong to a French association of Newfoundland dog owners, and through this club, they organize many events. The breeding and reproduction of Newfoundlands is tightly controlled and maintained in France, thus ensuring the continuance and survival of the breed.
Because of its coastline, Brittany's main industry is fishing. But during summer holidays, it becomes a destination for visitors. They sail, dive, and windsurf, as well as swim. And they expose themselves to all the dangers these sports entail. Sea rescue societies are often called upon to retrieve a wayward visitor. The rescuers utilize and direct the natural qualities of their Newfoundland dogs, progressively turning them into an excellent rescue auxiliary. The dogs associate the fishing boat with sea outings, which they dearly love. Patrick and his friends constantly search for secluded coves and small islands where the dogs can enjoy swimming. These outings are also used by Patrick's sea rescue friends to simulate rescue operations. Despite the serious side of the rescue exercises, fun and games seem to surface at any time. Most often led by the dogs themselves. These are not championship show dogs or breed award winners. They are good-natured working dogs who are always willing to rescue someone in trouble at sea. What looks like game playing also saves lives. You can imagine the pride of an owner whenever one of the dogs saves a life. It's a pleasure Patrick shares with all his fellow owners. It still begs the question, why? Where does this innate streak come from? What primordial inheritance has left such a quality in this breed?
The Newfoundland dog is emotionally engaging, not only because it can sacrifice its life for you, but its generosity and intimate bond make it difficult when you lose it. Historically, through travel, trial, and tribulation, the Newfoundland dog nearly became extinct. For those who love the breed, it is of great comfort and enjoyment to know that they have contributed to its survival.